morning, I'm Tom Watts. I'm the district sales manager for the Southwest. Uh, I've been nominated for this today. So we've brought to uh, the Gale DL 10H55 our nomenclature basically stands for Dynalift, which was a trade name we acquired when we picked up TCI in 86. It is a 10K machine with 55 foot of boom, uh, 55 foot one inch to be exact. Placement is 55 foot. It will take 5,500 pounds all the way up with the outriggers down to the 55 foot placement height. I'm going to start up front and kind of make my way around the back. Uh, the Gale DL series is kind of unique in uh, many facets. One is that we have the ability to do a select of them. So you can either take a high profile mounted boom or you can take a low profile mounted boom. And as well as we have various lengths in which you can select, whether it be a 44 foot 10K or a 55 foot 10K and on right down to the product family. One of the things that we do offer too is also two mounting tool systems. This is the Dyna attached that we have. It's a narrow, it's used for lift and place type applications. Then we also have what we call a Dyna carrier, which is a wide mount uh, type attachment, which would be used for bucket or high force applications in which you want more stability at the force head. We use a channel, well, excuse me, we also have the uh, auxiliary hydraulics that's standard on our 55 foot bone. That's on the other side, which we'll get to. We have a box channel boom, um, pretty strong and rigid. We do uh, allow the DL series to be utilized in loader type application with buckets for breakout force as well as digging and engaging in the dirt. Or of course you can utilize again for a lift in place type application. We offer um, frame mounted stabilizers. These are all actually actuated through rocker switches inside of the operator compartment. Um, they Basically, uh, are required on a 55 foot as standard. Everything else would be optional, whether it's an RS series, um, all the way down. Moving to our axles, we have Ferraro axles, 26.48 axles, outboard planetaries, four wheel wet braking system, uh, 55 degree steering axle, uh, degrees of steering. One of the things the Gale Company does uh, profess to have, and that's uh, the most. Uh, cubic foot in the industry at 55 cubic feet for the 55 cubic foot for the operator environment. It is wide, roomy, uh, ergonomically laid out, wide point of in, uh, innards and access to get out of the machine for a wide guy like myself or even a tall guy. Um, step up in here real quick. Uh, we do offer a tilt steering wheel on here. Uh, that's a standard on all the DL series. We have a Dana T16,000 transmission with four forward, two reverse speeds. Uh, again, our axles offer is pretty much everybody here except for the great all three steering modes, two wheel, all wheel, and crab. Uh, one of the unique things uh, in the operating environment is we do have a single joystick with two different options. Again, we have, uh, it seems to run in pairs of twos, but this machine has a, what we call a dual function joystick, uh, boom, up, down, extension, retraction is going to be pilot operated. The fork tilt in auxiliaries is electronic over hydraulic actuation. If we had a tri-function, it would remain a pilot operated joystick. Then in that situation, you'd have two buttons to actuate your fork tilt, as well as two buttons to actuate your auxiliary hydraulics. The L-Series does come standard with a D-clutch. So you have the clutch D, uh, standard in the machine. Also in the machine here, which I'll talk about a little bit more, but the actuation is what we call our PWP system, which stands for Personal Work Platform. We are one of the companies in the industry that has approval from OSHA under B566. Um, that's IE why we have a man basket, which we'll demonstrate here with our remote wound control function, um, which is uh, recently launched this year at uh, World of Concrete. Uh, we offer Again, back here, a little bit of storage space. This machine is actually a, equipped with a cab heat and air. It is going up into the northern climate. When it leaves here, it is an option. If you did not order a cab heat or a cab heat and air, you'd basically have an open ROPS canopy complete with just a right-hand side glass. That is what standard is, the right-hand side glass. On the boom here, which I'll point out, which is good visibility, we have a deluxe boom indicator. As the boom goes up, the operator does have complete visibility, whether he's in the operating uh, capacity. Um, if he's on a man basket as well, it gives him complete
complete visibility the way this deluxe boom indicator is laid out. So we do uh, get a lot of uh, positive feedback on that boom indicator. Uh, a couple other features near, I will get to the engine, which is the John Deere 4045T 40, 40, turbocharged on the side. We offer an engine override switch in the operator environment here. So if the engine should uh, sense high oil pressures, or, or excuse me, low oil pressure, high coolant temp, it would basically have a 30 second indicator which shut down the engine. There is an override switch in here um, which you'd be able to actuate the machine and move it in 30 second intervals to get out of harm's way or load it up on a truck should you need to do so. We also offer a side storage compartment uh, in our DL series which is standard. It allows the, the operator to put his chains, uh, gloves, hard hat, lunch, whatever it may be so that they're not crowding their feet on a job site, bouncing around, open rocks, and get stuff caught up underneath the, the throttle or the brake or falls out or gets caught as it's drugged from the side of the machine, whatever it may be. It also has all your, your maintenance information listed right here, all the part numbers, diagnostic codes for transmission, and other general information, fuse panel accessibility right here, as well as it has a transmission module for indication that should you have a failure in your transmission. And then we have a nice little sensor up here which is built into the PWP system, which we'll show you here shortly. Our rear axle stabilization will basically engage at 60 degrees. At 60 degrees, it basically puts the transmission in neutral and applies the parking brake. Yes, automatic transmission is in neutral. The rear axle stabilization will also take place if you engage the PWP system. So anytime you engage the PWP system, it will automatically lock in as well. Um, in order to engage it, John or a single operator would get up into the operator environment, turn the key on to a non-start position. We do have a red switch on the left-hand side of the steering column here. It must be pressed down. The brake has to be held and engaged for five seconds. When that does, the light will actually stay solid on the system. Once that's done, the transmission's locked out. For a, a house tilt's locked out from the, the 10 degrees, so it will not move in a house tilt situation. Everything is locked out. The, of course, you want to set your outriggers depending on how, you know, what you're doing, et cetera. But basically, if he's going all the way up above 55 foot, we set that all down for simple demonstrations. I'll go ahead and let him start the machine, and we're not going to take him off real high. You can start the machine from the handheld device. It has a trigger on the underside, which allows you to feather the machine so you can go as fast or slow. You can basically boom up boom down, extension, retract. Front to uh, all extended 40 foot, 8 inches, and pick up 2,000 pounds. I had 
stated uh, all the way at 55. 